Hello guys, in today's tutorial we're going to make a consistent jump and let me explain to you what that is so uh, basically we're just going to modify a little bit of our simple player script so if you don't know a ton of time ago I made a script uh, player controller and in this script I made this where you can actually uh, make a jump of different heights so if I jump here and I press just a little bit it will jump just a little bit but if I press all the way down, all the way down on the W key, it will jump a lot. And the thing is, this is not consistent as you can see. I'm just going to zoom on, on this line right here, so as you can see it better. So, I'll, on the jumps that I'll do now, I'll, I'll express the W the maximum time possible. If you are watching this tutorial, I, I advise you to see the, the my, other, my other complex jump tutorial, the links on the description. Anyways, if I jump, you can see that sometimes the, the player reaches here, but sometimes the player reaches here, and sometimes somewhere in the middle. And like I said, this is not consistent. You know, if you want to make a game that's that's more reliable, then we have to change this jump to make this height be always the same, this maximum height. So there actually there won't be won't be much many changes to to this to the simple player. So this is the simple player controller. We have here the um, the part where, regarding the jump. So let me explain this real quick. If the player is on the ground, so if the player is on the ground and he just pressed the W key, then it's applied the initial force to it. And then, uh, in the the next frames, if the player clips on pressing the W key, he can still apply more force to jump higher. And whenever he stops pressing the key, or he is or he lands on the ground, he stops being able to jump until he presses W again. And the reason for it to be inconsistent is that this is frame based. And sometimes there are more frames, and sometimes there are less frames. And the more frames there are, the more the the higher the player can jump. And you don't want this jump to be reliant on the performance of your computer. So to fix that, we're going to put this on the on the fixed update because on the fixed update, the frames or the time always is consistent. It's always 0 0.02 seconds. Okay, so I just did here the fixed update, and you may think that I, I, all I have to do is just copy this into here. And let me show you why this isn't, this will not work. And if I press W right now, you'll see that the player always jumps the same height. But sometimes I press the W key and nothing happens. Uh, right now I just press the key and nothing happens. And the reason for that is that only on the update function you can use the get key down reliantly. So, and to explain to you that better, I'm just I just fired up here good old point, and this here is on the line between a frame and another frame. And the thing is, uh, this is here on the top. I'll, I'll draw the, the the update. So the update is executed every single frame, meaning it's like happens tons and tons of times per second and whatnot you get the point but the fixed update only happens it happens less it happens like here and then here and then here so as one is happening tons of times a second the other one is, is slower so you and now imagine that you, you press a key in this frame over here in this frame over here, then the the get key down command will be executed, will be seen in that in that uh, frame. So, but because there is no frame here corresponding to the in the fixed update, there is no frame here, then that key press can't be seen from the fixed update. But if you press a key in this frame where th there is actually a corresponding fixed update frame where the fixed update function actually runs well then you'll be able to jump and that's why sometimes you can jump and sometimes you can't jump using this script like this so 
just to fix that I'm going to duplicate this this code put it in here and delete and delete all of this by the way if, if you didn't understand this very well um, I'll, I'll link in the description comment official unity videos where they explain this key key presses stuff very well anyways now here all I have to do is to delete whatever is in here so right now what's happening is, is it's always giving this if you press the W key it's always giving this this jump force but in here this sometimes will happen this sometimes won't happen but actually we don't care because I'm going to delete this because it's already in here still I delete this And right now, this if this happens, which uh, most of the time won't happen, which uh, which sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Regarding on that thing that I was talking about, nothing will happen. Else, the player will jump regularly. Anyway, save. And if I jump now, you can see that the maximum jump height is always the same. Is always on that point, and I can jump every time I press which is what we wanted and that's it for today guys uh, thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in the next one